Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on December 19th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, and as well earthquakes. Looking here at our sun, under a blue image today, you can see the extending coronal hole in the north and as well the three earth facing not very active sunspots and they are showing a little bit of fiery activity but nothing serious we also have some incoming energy here on the southwest limb you can see the ropes really starting to lift and dance around, corona being affected. Thanks to all of the new friends and family from around the world, I appreciate you choosing Morning Dew, staying aware and prepared. Prayers for humanity during all of these times. A lot is going on. Just have a quick look here at the plasma filaments erecting from the northeastern limb outgoing and that was part of the CME that ejected off the back side of the sun the other day you can really see under this light the large trying to extend coronal hole in the northern hemisphere of the sun but not really gaining too much momentum there Let's have a look at our real-time solar wind, as we did have a small increase. We're sitting now at 346 kilometers per second. That was after a pretty diminished 200 kilometers per second. Looking here at the Schumann resonance for today, power of 20. You can see a lot of energy flying around right now. Base frequency of 7.83 hertz. Quality of 7.0. Let's have a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours as it has been busy. Kind of see a reoccurring pattern across the planet. A lot of four magnitudes. And as well, a few deep earthquakes to talk about. And as well, an active West Coast and North American plate today. Looking here at Pinnacles, a 2.6 earthquake, California. And as well, Mina, Nevada, 2.5. Northward here into Idaho. Utah and as well a Montana a 2.8 some rare earthquakes popping off in Kansas today 3.4 Bel Air Kansas and as well Eastboro Kansas 2.6 so five earthquakes ran out in that area and that is the northwestern side of the New Madrid as well observing quite a swarm today in Puerto Rico they are shaken most of them on the south side of the island as well, 4.7 recorded yesterday, Venezuela, 4.3, Ecuador, moving down in South America, 4.6 here, Argentina. And that is the exact place that I was talking about in the alignment where we're going to see a lot of action. Antonio de la Cobros, 4.7 there off the Chile coast, and as well a large 5.2 here along the Chile and uh, South Pacific Plate, 4.9 South Sandwich Islands, and there's an active Michael Volcano right in that area as well, 4.1 there in Italy, 4.1 Albania, 
and as well a pretty deep earthquake here 199 kilometer depth 4.3 in Jarm Afghanistan and now Japan and just recently I, I just got a notice now 5.1 earthquake Japan we're also looking at these 4.7 4.8 in Nazi Japan lots of activity along the west side of the ring of fire after all the activity on the on the east side of the ring of fire it's bouncing back here 4.3 Fiji 4.6 very deep one 400 kilometers as well watching an earthquake swarm it throughout Hawaii so very active North American plate Hawaii and as well Japan right now most recent earthquakes Alaska 4.3 there and that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes let's have a look at the last seven days as all of the white rings are the most recent and the red are the latest so we're still seeing quite a quiet North American plate compared to everywhere else right now so that's a bit concerning Cascadia San Andreas fault line all on watch right now Eurasia plate into Africa quite quiet South American plate very busy as forewarned from the 14th to the 21st of December as well looking at quite a bit of activity self sandwich islands into Antarctica let's have a look at our Pacific Disaster Center most recent volcanoes being updated Reventador, Fuego, Kluchevskoy, Suisunajima, Popo, Dakono, Sabinkaya, Ibu, Ebuko, and also observing already some avalanches across the Rockies, parts of Canada as well, the US, as winter storms are starting to hammer North America, four feet in the East Coast towards New York. So there already, Kootenays, as well Jasper, looking at avalanche warnings. And then across, all across Canada, extreme cold warnings, and as well winter storm warnings. So stay aware and prepare, my Canadian friends. Winter is right upon us. Just wait for that polar vortex to lock itself in over Hudson Bay. And then we'll really see these warnings go up. And some big winter storms, as I've been talking about and documenting over the past few weeks they are getting bigger just look at the satellite imagery here we're looking at a very vigorous atmosphere right now a lot of activity in South America storms going through Paraguay and Bolivia flooding in Brazil yet again as well a large dust storm observed in Argentina watch for a video coming up on that with the extreme weather events week 50 let's have a look at our five-day forecast brought to you by media earth media mike overlooking home base calgary alberta as yeah the cold temperatures are coming and so is the snow by monday into tuesday we will see up to 10 centimeters of snow here in calgary as the system moves eastward and then southeastward after it penetrates the mountains but watch for very cold temperatures behind this system as a high pressure ridge sneaks in from the north where all of these really cold temperatures are hanging out yukon northwest territories minus 44 already so this system will bring snow towards ontario as well later in the week and then quite a system across southeastern united states heads up friends and family all across southeast you will have some pretty extreme weather with the tail end of that Alberta clipper could turn into a Colorado low and then most likely a nor'easter yet again after being hammered with almost four feet of snow across the New England and New York regions watch for blizzard like conditions northern Ontario later in the week but then Ontario watch for a real mixed bag of precipitation as that system moves through thoughts and prayers going out because it could be a very icy and dangerous situation overlooking Europe 
Still very mild temperatures hanging out. High pressure ridge from Africa. You can thank Africa for all these warm temperatures. But the cold temperatures will be coming. And from the east, parts of Finland already starting to drop. And as well, we'll be bringing quite a winter storm heading eastward. Unfortunately, nothing for you in Europe just yet. Overlooking a very cold Russia in Siberia. Minus 50 in some places here already. I've been warning this is coming. And here it is. A very cold and long winter. Just wait for these systems to ramp up and gain momentum. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody worldwide. As you can see in this five day forecast, it has not changed much from two days ago. Still watching a very large low pressure system form and head into the Alaskan Peninsula. Watch for an uptick in seismicity as that large system moves through a lot of moisture and a lot of vigorous winds. West Coast BC, dry air moving in later in the week or in the next couple days. Kind of a relief. You guys have been seeing a lot of rain. Looking at a possible tri tropical cyclone moving here into Thailand, but it'll quickly get caught in the high pressure ridge and move eastward into the West Pacific. Overlooking Africa, they're going to have quite an event as well as this low pressure system spends about four days to cross South Africa. So that's going to bring a lot of rain and some torrential downpours during the day. So stay aware, prepared my African friends. As well, Australia, in even worse situation, they've got rain here for the next five days. And this low pressure system that came in from the north has got a lot of rain. And it just seems like an atmospheric river of moisture from the equator down into Australia. Very hot Australia. So watch for a lot of lightning strikes and thunderstorms throughout all across the continent as these systems push through as well. Southeastern Australia could see some tropical force winds later in the week with those systems heading through Sydney. As well, tropical cyclone Yasa is still alive heading around the Fiji Islands into the New Caledonia. Gonna leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern, pointing out the major systems that will be affecting us in the five day forecast. Thanks everyone for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye bye now. And don't forget to check out dailyeventsworldwide.com where you can get all the latest news and events and share your photos and videos. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. <laughs>